The alcohol vote here has been talked about for a while, and on November 4th, the residents here in Canyon will be able to vote yay or nay on whether they will legalize alcohol sales here in Canyon. Now, tonight in the meeting in City Hall behind me, they will talk about the places that may possibly sell alcohol if the law is passed. But one local church is trying to fight that law and is calling out the people who signed the petition to legalize it out publicly. Now, there's, he's saying that they shouldn't go with this law, and he's calling out people to practice what they preach. The city of Canyon is getting ready for the alcohol sales election on November 4th. But one local church is against the vote and is calling out some residents who signed the petition allowing the sale of alcohol, claiming some of them don't practice what they preach. I published it was because a lot of the people that signed it go to churches that uh, preach against it, which would uh, be kind of hypocritical. Pastor Glenn Stocker of Bible Believers Baptist Church posted the list of people who signed the petition to legalize alcohol sales in Canyon on both his website and in an ad in the local paper. I'm trying to dissuade people from, uh, I'd like them not to vote for it in the future because of the fact that Canyon is a nice little town and it's been that way because of the lack of alcohol. Churchgoers agree and say they should be practicing what they preach. If they're preaching against it and their church teaches against it and they're signing a petition for it, uh, yeah, that would be a hypocrite. We knocked on the doors of some of the people who signed the petition and are not part of the church, and they were shocked. They say passing the sale of alcohol will help the community. It'll be good for the community as far as the tax money and stuff, you know. Why should we lose out on that? And other residents say to let people preach what they want to. That's people's choice if they want to, you know, bring liquor to Canyon. I mean, they shouldn't be shunned for that. Nobody should be. Now, like I said, they still hadn't started talking about the alcohol uh, issue when I was in there, but I'm going to go back in because the meeting should be starting about now, and I'm going to get all those updates, and you can find those details on the meeting on our website at connectamarillo.com. Live from Canyon, I'm Natalie Gronda, Pro News 7.